The PCS100 operates simply by rotating the wand into the tool to see if the tool is there. If the wand bottoms out, the fault circuit is, is actuated on the controller. If the PCS100 wand hits something anywhere within the stroke, it provides an OK signal. If it goes to the extended retraction, extended position, it faults out. There's a constant servo that holds this wand back at all times to keep it out of the uh, uh, area where you bring the tool up to the tool breakage unit. breakage detection system. Consists of a sensor, bracket, um, a cable, um, we ordered in 5 meter or 10 meter lengths, and the uh, controller module which basically allows you to interface to your machine, um, a fault signal, a uh, output OK signal, a reset button to reset the unit if, uh, if it detects a fault, um, as well as uh, two different start signals which can be applied um, to the unit to actually start the, uh, the tool breakage sensor, 115 volt and 24 volt. Um, these are the common wires, this is where you hook up your wires for the tool sensor and of course you need a 24 volt DC power supply um, to power the module. Um, we also sell a power supply that uh, converts 100 volts um, to 24 volts which is an option. Um, the, uh, the unit comes with a um, one wand like this, With it, it's actually a uh, uh, has a coating on it um, that allows it to hit the tool and not wear out. In order to interface the PCS100 to the machine you need to provide a M code um, to fire the unit or a some sort of start signal which could be a switch on the machine um, that actuates or you can even tie it into uh, if you don't have any external M codes which some machines do not um, they don't come with them as an op option for the machine you can even tie it into a coolant on, coolant on signal um, which would fire the tool breakage unit um, at certain times um, for interfacing there's a fault output and an OK output um, both can be controlled with normally open or normally closed contacts um, by these uh, dip switches on here um, you can you have to set up the counterclockwise or clockwise rotation depending on which way you'd like the wand to travel and then all and then the 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 time as well um, the low and the high is just how how much uh, uh, I guess force you'd want you want the tool breakage unit to um, try to uh, move to hit the drill bit um, for our setup here we have a start switch which simulates um, uh, a start signal being applied to either 24 volts or the 115 volt circuit. When interfacing the